off. Boston vlog starts here. We're all packed up. Just gotta pack up Brody in the car. My suitcase. Here we go. We made it. <laughs> oh, are you watching dad? I haven't vlogged yet, but we had dinner. Here's a clip. It was lovely. So yummy. We're watching Max play right now. They're in overtime, so I kind of need to focus. I'm getting a little stressed. I'm in Columbus. Oh, that's where the plant was while we were gone. Oh my god, the anxiety. We put the plant up there just in case Brody had any ideas of like digging in there while we were gone. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. But when you were a puppy, you would dig through the mulch and plants, huh? Not anymore, though. <laughs> Oh, it's so cozy in here. We are gonna sleep so well tonight with your favorite girl, Lou. <laughs> That's all we're up to. Dinner was so lovely. We went to Fat Baby. It was it's amazing. Cold. And it's so good. I went once probably like three, four years ago. I got takeout from there on Sunday, and so I was excited to actually go, but it was so good. That was my first time having it. Oh my God, I can't wait to bed. <laughs> you caught my on. Everyone say, go Max. I actually just checked my DMs and I got so many DMs of girls at the game oh that my gosh. saw him. Isn't that cute? Guys, I went back to show you. Look at Tortorella said to us this morning. Woo, that was He's so cool. Oh, uh, Come on, goalie, get out of the way. <laughs> my hair appointment right now here's the before i think my roots don't even look that bad right now but to me sometimes they look so dark we're just brightening it up my guy kyle at salon echo tay i can't wait to see him and yeah it's honestly so rainy right now i just took brody out and i feel like my hair is like all wet but i think it's gonna stop raining later which is good and yeah i will see you guys there or after so you can see the big reveal we have dinner tonight that's what's up <laughs> later <laughs> here we are let's get some good lighting here this will be good lighting oh yeah we love the doorway lighting what do we think kyle does literally the best job you guys kyle salon echo tay you need him now blue bottle get in my favorite matcha I'm so excited okay it's literally freezing cold out and you wear a shirt right now you guys i'm so cold but this walk around here is giving me my personality back. I just love walking around Boston so much. Even though my hand is freezing off, I'm happy that I have the yummiest matcha ever. Kind of struggle to vlog. Funny hands here. Whew. It's such a nice day, yeah. Look who I found. For once in my life, it's not me spilling the coffee. Yeah. It's usually me every time I drink it. I have not explained anything to them, but I just found this cute man walking down the streets of Boston. And I said, hey man, let's grab lunch. <laughs> Guys, my hair appointment with Kyle took so long. You know what, as I knew it would, so I should have prepared, but this is gonna be like the first bite of my food in my mouth today, and I'm so excited, it looks so good. We're at Flower, by the way. I think I need to go. We love it here. Oh yeah, you go grab one. <laughs> long story short is that I was always planning to come to Boston this week, and then Max copied me <laughs> and followed me here. I'm kidding. He got called up on Sunday, and so he plays in Boston tomorrow, so that's why he's here and why we get to see him. Mm -hmm. Are you going to come see Brody? Mm -hmm. And he gets to see B. Oh, Brody's going to be so happy yeah. to see you. He's like not going to be expecting it because he's probably like, oh, we left uh -huh. Max. Here you'll be. Yeah. So that's the plan. So you guys will see the game tomorrow. I can't believe we squared away all our tickets. There's 15 of us total. 15. Oh God. She's like, I don't want to hear about these crazy plans. Now we can really see the hair in here. What do we think? Right. Do we love? Yeah. He's Kyle awesome. is a miracle worker. 
I told him, I think I'm done going to anyone else. Because it never looks just quite like the way Kyle does it. I said, Kyle, we're exclusive. I've decided. Uh -huh. Cute little shot. Lucy's first time at Del Christmas. You're gonna love. Look at how we all walk down the stairs in our booth so we can't walk in. Taylor has a legit excuse that she can't Stupid. walk. Lucy and I are just wearing five inch booties that we can't walk in. And my stomach's so heavy that I'm gonna fall forward. <laughs> Just got back from dinner. Sorry, I didn't vlog earlier. This mirror's kind of low. Like, I can't see my head. Oh, it's really low. Well, it's just propped up. <laughs> well, it's a good height to show my outfit. I got this at the end of last winter, so I never really had the chance to wear it. But it's the Connor coat at Aritzia. And I love. And then my brown leather pants. I don't even know if you can see. It's Revolve. This sweater is kind of new from Revolve. It's a Nine Bing. A Nine Bing. I think I say that wrong. And then these little boots are also Revolve, and Lucy and I cannot walk in them, as you saw in our video. She's wearing the same ones, but in black, and she's wearing our mom's leather pants, yeah. Princess Polly blazer, yeah. Revolve, Revolve top. top. I, I'm Love. mad we're doing this right now because so I feel cute. like I have a baby. A food baby? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, you're so happy we're home. Were you so good? But this top is cute. Yeah. But well, you need to show them the pattern of these pants. Isn't it fun? Yeah, Can so cute. They were mom's old we pants. We love them. Shout out mom. Good morning. We're on our morning walk with Bee. And it's nice out, but it's cold. I was laughing because I feel like in my vlog yesterday, I was like, I'm freezing, it's so cold. And then I was like, such a beautiful day out because like it's nice out and I'm happy that I'm here and like outside but it is freezing. <laughs> I've got a normal chai. I got normal milk. Last time I got the pumpkin chai, with, I, th I didn't specify, so I guess normal milk, and it was terrible. Well, I mean, oh, it was fine, it was just very rich. We're yes. running into foodies. And I wanted to say, you sit? Should I sit? That's so good. I want to say that's so northeast of us. We're just northeast girlies. Ah. That you commit to the ice drinks, <laughs> even when your hands are like freezing. Well, not me. <laughs> I just burnt my tongue. I'm so happy I finally taught myself to use the barrel curling iron or the not barrel what's it called clip like the one with the clip because I could only ever do like a wand before and I watched enough YouTube tutorials on how to like move your hand with the clip it's easy now that I have it but it like was very unnatural at first but I'm so happy that I yeah anyway loving that I could have had Kyle curl my hair yesterday I didn't even like think of that but I just did it real quick. Also, I'm realizing I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as I wore yesterday. It's kind of gross. But I need to tell you guys before it's too late in this video, you guys click out. PSA, okay? These are the only t-shirts I wear. I wore yesterday as well under this sweatshirt. Not this one, the white one. Don't worry, I'm not that gross. I'll wear these sweatshirts, but not like shirts. Or, anyway, you know what I mean? Okay, cuts t-shirts we already know are my most favorite t-shirts of all time, the only ones I wear. This is the tomboy tee in the cropped version. My favorite because it's just like a little bit more form-fitting and I literally have every color. And the PSA is, if I'm losing your attention, listen to me now. Cuts is having 25 to 50% off their entire website as a part of their Black Friday sale. So 
click my link down below make sure that you check it out because you can get 25 to 50% off it's a perfect time to get ahead on your holiday shopping and especially if you have been thinking about trying out cuts tees or now they have like sweatshirts and vests and puffers and chirpas and so many other things you guys should definitely try out like specifically I feel like the tomboy tee is like their most popular so make sure you shop the tomboy tee before it is sold out okay I haven't showed you guys yet I just got this vest are you kidding me they slay the puffer <laughs> The puffer items, like the vest. Oh, you guys know my Sherpa is my favorite too. And look what else. This is their daily puffer. How stinking cute. Do we love? Love. <laughs> the hood. Love the hood. Oh, it's just like the best fit. And so cozy, so warm. Very high quality. Wearing a size small in this, in the vest. And the tops as well. And I brought literally like every color of my tomboy tee because I wear them every day. But I also have this color I'll show you. It's like the perfect tan color. They're just the best quality little shirt. So again, I'll cut link down below. Make sure that you shop during the sale because you're gonna save 25 to 50% off everything on their whole website. So yes, shop now, not later, so you don't miss the sale. And now I need to do my makeup, pick up my outfit, finish getting ready for the game. Did I even say, I feel like I have not been vlogging that much. I've not been talking. I think I did, yeah. How I was always gonna come this week, but then it worked out really well that Max got called up because the Flyers play the Bruins tonight. So there is a whole crew of us going. There is like 15, 16, 17 of us. So many, like friends, family, we find girlfriends, everybody. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's been kind of stressful. I feel like that's why I haven't been vlogging that much because I've been trying to like coordinate with everyone and like what time we're going where and meeting with everyone and all the tickets and making sure, you know, like the logistics of everything. Of course, Brody is eating as I'm vlogging what's new. But I'll see you when I am all ready for the game. What am I gonna wear? I always do all black. I feel like you can't go wrong. Do my makeup, pick my outfit. See you in a bit. All ready. Makeup done. Hair probably has fallen out a little, but I try my best. I use texture spray, hairspray, and I just feel like it's hard for it to stay. But with that curling iron, it stays pretty well. Um, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I'm putting it in dry shampoo and it's making my hair gray, so I'm like, I rubbed it in and it's still gray, so I'm wiping it off with a damp towel. <laughs> You know? Well, you look great. We're clearly doing an all black vibe. You can't tell, but I have, it's like this align, lemon align, turtleneck long sleeve like that. And I put it under this like V neck sweater vest. Oh yeah, you can see, there you go. From above, leather pants are the Aritzia Daria leather leggings. I believe that's the name of them. Yeah. I'm so good at remembering the names of like clothes. Big I just want to throw them my leather boots and my surprises I haven't showed you guys yet. Contrary to popular belief or against everyone's popular opinion. Popular opinion. <laughs> against the 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 majority opinion vote. vote. The majority okay. vote. Against the majority vote. Oh my screen you can probably see her right here. I got her. I'm sorry. I had to for everyone that hates it. Good thing it isn't yours because you hate it, but I got it because I wanted it and I was just like this is going to complete my outfits this winter this gives like holiday and fun and I know it's not as timeless and the fur isn't probably as good with like wear and tear as leather but guess what it's fun and I liked it and I kept thinking about it and it was one of those things maybe you guys will know what I'm talking about where like if you ask this is always how I know. If like I ask Lucy, what picture should I post on Instagram? This one or this one? Like one or two? And if she says two, if I'm still really like, oh wait, one, then it's like that's confirmed that I always like the first one more. You know? So when everyone said no, don't get it, we don't like it, I'm like, you know what? You just made me realize that even though all the opinions say we don't like it, I still actually really like it. So it made me realize that I like it. Do you know what I mean? Because either they'll be with you and they'll be like, yeah, we love it, and you're like, good, that's what I was thinking. Or like it just helps you realize what you were leaning towards in the first place. Does this make any sense? Because then if you're like, no, but then you're like, oh wait, I still like it. Then you do that, you really like it all along.
It is the next morning, Friday morning. I'm very sleepy. <laughs> we had a night. I filmed a little bit my phone at the hockey game. It's always like so much fun being with so many people at a hockey game, but like a lot of moving pieces and logistics. So I don't even know if I mentioned that yesterday, but I feel like I've been so overwhelmed and that's why I wasn't like vlogging much, I felt like, because I just have been like coordination queen and texting like all of our friends and family and cousins and family friends and boyfriends and girlfriends and siblings you know what I mean trying to coordinate like tickets and getting into the game and where we're going and after and yeah like the plan so it was just like a lot but so much fun and so worth it to be with like so many of us and see Max's game and he played once before when was that you guys November, December, January, whenever last season the um, Flyers played the Bruins in Boston. And yeah, it was like the same magical energy. And I just know it's like Max's dream come true. So I am just so happy for him and so proud of him. And I am like, damn, like not many people get to say that they, now like in my feels over here, but really that's what I text him. I'm like, not many people get to say that they got to like accomplish and chase their like childhood dreams. Like I'm like, if you think about what you would ask like five-year-old Max, like, what are you going to be when you grow up? He would say, I'm going to play hockey in the NHL, you know? Like so many little boys that play hockey would say, and here he is like playing back where he's from, and I don't know, it's just like so special. So yeah, it was funny because afterwards we'll like wait around and try to meet up with them. It's hard when it's like the visiting team because you, in different rings, it's like different, whatever, it's a whole thing. It's like, yeah, but then when you, when like home games, we always know where to go to meet them after, but then at away rings, like you never know. So we're like trying to talk to the employees like oh we're trying to like meet up with the players whatever and they're like okay how many of you like just you three and we're like there's 20 of us <laughs> they're like uh just to make me here one more we're like yeah there's only 20 we're like just 20 of like our closest friends <laughs> but i'm like also people have to realize that like max is from an hour from here so of course like so many people are gonna come but anyway that was last night. Then you can probably tell my, my voice and how tired I see or sound. We went out and I wish I like honestly filmed there, but I'm sure a lot of you watching this have been to Lincoln. It's just a bar in South Boston. And I had never been, I've always heard of it. And I feel like everyone's like, oh, Lincoln, like whatever. But I thought it was like magical and so cute and so fun. And I actually met so many, I met so many of you guys yesterday. Like whenever I'm in Boston, I meet so many of you and it's so fun. And what am I trying to say? I'm losing my I met a bunch of you at Lincoln. And I was like, wow, this place is all decorated for Christmas. Like I've never been here. I love it. There was live music and like lights. And they were like, you love it here? Like it's Lincoln. <laughs> Like, I love it. It's magical. Anyway, so we just had so much fun, and there was, like, a big group of us out, and my friend Kat, and we just got to, like, catch up and have fun, and it was so fun. Oh, and we ended up, like, meet, meet. Anyway, yeah. That was last night. I'm chatting so much, but the whole reason, three minutes into this cut, the whole reason I'm vlogging right now is because I just drove bright and early this morning. It was so hard to get out of bed to, like, outside of Boston a little bit. It was, like, a little bit, which I, not too far. It was probably, like, 25 minutes. Anyway. I go to Moco Beauty to get my eyebrows microbladed. And if you guys remember, it was like 12 weeks ago. I got, so that would have been three months. I got my eyebrows microbladed here and I loved it so much. It's like changed my life for the better. They're so good. And I don't even know if you could like tell in this clip so far, you're probably like, wow, her eyebrows look very bold. And it's because I just got them touched up when you get your eyebrows microbladed. I think you typically go get the microbladed and then get them touched up like 12 weeks later ish because then they can start to fade and yeah and i asked him like okay when do i see you next like a year and he was like no like two years like it stays for so long so i'm so excited about that but yeah for the first like week really two weeks they look like really bold and are kind of crazy like i remember oh my gosh this one looks extra bold and i remember the first time i came i was like i don't know if i like it like they look crazy and then they just fade and look how they've looked earlier in this vlog you know but yeah i love the way they look and i'm in lucy's car that's a whole other thing yeah i'll end off this clip here <laughs> i'll see what we're doing for the rest of the day and i need like eggs and toast and a coffee or something yeah that's what i've been up to we just walked to get tate someone joined us on our walk and i actually have never been to this location maybe i'll go show you guys because i've i've been told it's very cute and we ordered one of everything on the menu. And this is how I realized I love a caramel oat milk latte, because theirs is the best this ever. Is good for me right now. <laughs> I'm continuing with being crazy, getting my cold drink while everyone else gets a hot drink. It's like 30 degrees. Hi, Brody. <laughs> 
I will never stray from the cold. Actually, sometimes I do, but I just <laughs> hit stiff. You know, like, you can't get hot when you're in the cold. Okay, yeah, bye. I have no hands. Brody. Brody. <laughs> Are you a Tate dog? Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, this one is so cute. It's so big in here. We love. And this is so cool. This is like different than all the other ones. But you can see it being made. No way. Wow. We love. Hi. Okay, we're back. And if you guys have never been to Chate or if you live near one, I think they're only in DC and Boston. Their croissant egg sandwich is so good. It's our fave. There's like tomato. I think there's lemon on the arugula in there, avocado. Oh, so good. You do egg, we like add bacon. Got some French toast. Got my oat milk caramel latte. One thing about me is I'm gonna get every thing that there is to get. Sorry, I'm like so zoomed in right now. Just a light, casual breakfast. <laughs> My muesli, my sandwich, and fridge dough. But I just love trying a little bit of everything when I can't decide. We'll all just share a little bit, you know? That's my favorite thing. I know I order, always order like 10 things at a restaurant. I can't just order one. We need it all. <laughs> <laughs> the hostess with the most. We got some cookies going. Look what we have. Merry Christmas. There we go. Look at our spread. Hey, remember that we'd stand there and my legs yeah. my foot standing and I was just like downward three legged downward duck. Oh my god. I can't see you here. I Oh boy, last thing you saw was last night Lucy and Kendall and I made cookies. I don't even think I showed. Did I show? We went to Target. It's kind of like a late night Target run. Got cookie dough. Made cookies. We were like, you know what? We're gonna go to bed early. We've been staying up so late all these nights. We're gonna catch up on sleep. No, we stayed up so late talking, hanging out. But you know what? That's what it's all about, being in Boston, just being social with all our friends. So I don't regret it, but sorry if this vlog was a little disjointed. Actually starting off a new one since I feel like I've already filmed over so many days. Hopefully this one isn't too short, but get excited for the next one because I show Lucy's official room reveal and it's so cute. It's like all put together in front of me right now. But get excited for the next one. You'll see all of that here. Want a sneak preview? <laughs> There's your sneak preview, but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I love that I have this for memories to look back at. We've had like the best couple of days here so far, and there's one more Boston vlog coming, so get excited. Love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.